history is being made. Students, faculty, and pro-Palestinian supporters gathered on UCLA campus calling for a ceasefire in the Middle East and divestment from Israel. And what started out as a small protest on campus quickly turned into something big. The pro-Palestinian encampment was set up outside of Royce Hall about two weeks ago, concerning counter-protesters. Counter-protesters spoke out against the encampment with claims of anti-Semitism. You can protest, you can do whatever you want, you can, you can, you can raise your voice, it's okay. But why are you blocking kids from going to campus? This is unacceptable, this is bad. But not all students have taken a side in the conflict, and some feel caught in the middle. Most people are going to argue that like a peaceful protest is useless because if you really want to get people's attention and change their minds, you're going to have to like disrupt their usual flow. A lot of like the major violence, I think that was brought on a lot by the counter protesters. But I, I do think it's also important to, to recognize that the people that were peacefully protesting within the encampment, allegedly. They were graffitiing the ground, the buildings, completely trashed that area. So I, I think, I don't know if I would call that peaceful. I think a lot of people are gonna be scared to share their opinions on the matter because they don't want, they don't want to offend anyone and they don't want to be just completely hated, you know? So I think people are gonna be very guarded about their opinions. Mm -hmm. For Canyon Sings, I'm Michael.